Because there's still a risk of the cancer recurring despite surgery and radiation therapy to the breast, we do give drug therapy to help mop up microscopic flecks of cancer that might have already snuck away from the breast and might be somewhere else in the body. It's those small deposits of cancer which can grow over time and present as recurrent or metastatic disease. And the drug therapy that we recommend depends a lot on the kind of breast cancer that it is. Most women are diagnosed with so-called estrogen receptor positive or ER positive breast cancer, and those women usually get anti-estrogen therapy with drugs like tamoxifen or the aromatase inhibitors. Some women have tumors that are so-called HER2 or HER2 positive. Those women are candidates for a drug called trastuzumab or Herceptin, uh, which again is a very powerful drug for lowering the risk of recurrence in that subset of breast cancers. And finally, we use chemotherapy for women whose tumors do not express estrogen receptor and do not express HER2. And we also use chemotherapy in higher risk cases of estrogen receptor positive uh, cancer. And for most women who have HER2 positive disease, they will get chemotherapy and trastuzumab. So to take a big step back, it's local therapy, surgery uh, and radiation therapy to the breast, and then systemic therapy, therapy that goes everywhere in the body with these targeted types of treatments endocrine therapies, anti-estrogen therapies, trastuzumab, the anti-HER2 drug, chemotherapy, all designed to do everything we can to make sure the breast doesn't come back either in the area where it was diagnosed or in any other part of the body.